Yo, what is good, everybody? It's your boy, Golden Golden Falls, Golden What If, whatever you want to call me. And I am back. I'm back with a brand new What If. What if Deku had a healing quirk? And uh, yeah, I don't know. I decided to do this. I've been trying to keep the theme of just making everything a quirk. And going back to that uh, that thing, I, I, that's what I was doing a long time ago when I first started uh, doing uh, My Hero Academia What Ifs. So I'm gonna go back to doing that. It's going to be most most of these will be based off of just quirks and uh, or quirks that I kind of create myself. And uh, yeah, so we're here for What If Deku Had a Healing Quirk. This is obviously part one, and uh, that's all I I don't really got that much else to say. I hope y'all enjoy as always make sure to show some love by hitting the like hitting the sub hitting the comment down below all that good stuff and if you enjoy um i i really hope you enjoy like i said and um yeah just continue to watch my stuff continue to hopefully enjoy my stuff and yeah we'll continue on and keep going that's all i got to say so i'm not gonna waste that much more of your time and let's get into what if deku had a healing quirk let's get it azuku midoriya he was born in a world that had superpowers, other known as quirks. Quirks are an extension of one's self. Quirks are something that everyone believes to be the most important and most potent part of society itself in this beautiful world that they know. Quirks are everything for heroes, everything for those who love heroes, and everything for society itself. So getting a good quirk is something that needs to happen. A good quirk will help you in the future. And that is exactly what Izuku is hoping for. He's hoping for a quirk that will be amazing. Maybe one just like All Might. All Might himself, strength, power, and just being the number one hero. That is what All Might, or that's what All Might stands for. And that's what Izuku wants to be. He wants to be the number one hero, like All Might. And of course, that is harder. That is easier said than done. It is no easy feat to just be like All Might. Frankly, for anybody. But it's okay. He's going to figure it out his own way. At the young age of only four, Izuku would finally get his chance to see what his quirk is. And the reason why this would even happen is because when he got a, an odd cut one day, it would heal up in a matter of seconds. So after this revelation, Inko Midoriya would immediately take Azuku to the doctors. They want to know, what is this quirk? What is this power that he currently has? Is it some regenerative quirk? Is it some regen type of healing quirk? Well, when they arrive at the hospital, they really don't get that much information. It seems that Azuku does have some sort of hyper healing, but this this hyper healing type of quirk doesn't really fit the mold of a regenerative quirk. It's kind of odd. It's not like it's just regen for himself or healing for himself. It seems outward. All of this weird or different like change in is in his body goes from even to his fingertips, goes from his chest to his fingertips to even his brain. It's definitely interesting to look at, especially in x-rays and diagnosis. And frankly, they're not too sure where to go with it. But overall, it seems to be some sort of healing type of quirk. But they explain that he's going to have to find out for himself. It seems too complicated for them to understand, at least off the bat. But yeah, he'll have to basically learn on his own. In which Inko thought this would sort of be the case. Most quirks are like this, but it seems that Azuku's quirk is even more complex. But that's okay. It's alright overall. And Azuku, at a, at a young age, might have some hurdles to jump through. But something it's something for him to look forward to and something for him to become a good hero with. He even asks his mother if he can be a hero with a healing type of quirk, and she says of course. It might be a support, it might even be one of the main heroes. But he'll have to see in the near future, it's not something they can just predict right now and forever in the future. So Izuku takes this to heart, 
and begins to try and work with his quirk in terms of healing. But it's kind of hard to do so. He would kind of walk around and look for for broken trees or kind of badly decaying plants and try to heal them. Because at the end of the day, they are living things or living organisms. So he's able to actually heal them to a certain extent. So he'll use that and maybe even sometimes hurt animals. As long as the hurt animal isn't, you know, uh, a giant a giant bear or something. So he kind of sticks to his own lane. He doesn't want to do anything crazy. Same thing with with at school. Sometimes at school, his friends would get maybe a little paper cut or something and he would learn to heal it. The more he does it, the more he can get a feeling for exactly how his healing quirk works. He of course doesn't want to hurt himself, that'd be kind of ridiculous, so he lets natural things happen. Even even one time he got, he got hit pretty hard and he was able to heal it off. It does drain some stamina and these are all just very minor, 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 minor injuries. So they're easy to maintain and actually heal. But what does that mean for bigger injuries? What about a broken arm? Well, he's not exactly sure, but that's beyond the idea and that's beyond the point. His healing quirk is something to be adapted and is something to be used. But there are some kids in his class that feel that it is no quirk of a hero. And one of them, and the main person, is Katsuki Bakugo. Katsuki Bakugo believes that a healing quirk makes him basically a glorified nurse. Like, come on, he's really nothing to be compared in terms of, well, some people that have powerful quirks, like himself. Well, frankly, Bakugo has an explosion quirk. Azuku is nothing compared to him, especially in raw strength. Not even close. Azuku does kind of feel offended by this. I mean, he was friends with Bakugo for a long time, so the fact that he would freaking feel this way, and the fact that he would act this way, is something that really hurts Azuku's feelings. But at the same time, Azuku needs to go on with his life. Figure out what he wants to do in the near future, not worry about what Bakugo basically thinks of him. So he continues working on his craft, working really hard, but he actually does have friends in this scenario. It's not like he's some sort of loner. A nerd is definitely something he still is as well, and he continues to write in his journal about certain things, and even about past heroes that are completely injured or were out of commission because of, well, something that happened. And he thinks about the times that he's seen heroes get hurt, and that he could have maybe even saved them if he was alive during that time. But he's not even sure. He doesn't know the limits to his quirks. And he can, or his quirk, he, throughout the years, he continues to just, well, develop it as much as possible. Azuku, though, would go on throughout the years and eventually would come to near the end of his middle school. At the end of middle school, he would be ready to basically take his advances to hopefully UA. But he knows that's going to be a bit of a struggle. His mother is transparent with him, especially with the way this day and age is. Well, quirks that are powerful in terms of raw strength are normally the ones that are more favored. So it's going to be difficult to get into UA. But Izuku doesn't care. He's going to try his hardest and absolutely give it his all to get to the point that he can maybe even get into UA, get into a high tier high school, and he'll follow his dreams to be a hero. Azuku truly believes that he can do this and he knows that it's all going to start with his training. So he begins to ask his mother that if he can do more than what he's doing right now. She's a little confused and asks what he means by that. And obviously he, he answers. He asks his mother if he can enroll in some sort of maybe martial arts, something simple and something just that would allow him to defend himself in which she thinks that's a great idea. I mean, he can't just heal off everything and every and everyone forever, and he needs to be able to defend himself to get out of sticky situations, so she thinks it's a great idea. Maybe over the 10 month period leading up to the UA entrance exam, he'll get his shot to basically train and, and learn and develop, in which that's something Izuku's definitely interested in. Being that this is the last day of middle school, he thanks his mother for helping him out, and he heads off to the last day. When he arrives at, at his middle school, it seems that everyone is rowdy and ready to go. It seems that they're all excited. 
especially because the teacher walks in saying that he was going to give career aptitude tests, but he throws them on the air and says that he knows they all want to be heroes. Heroes is something that is more or less a staple in this society. So when they all want to be heroes, this is no real surprise. And frankly, why would it be? They all want to be famous heroes and make tons of money. But very few of them will truly do that. Yes, there is a lot of people in the world that have quirks. But what happens when that quirk is not bad? It's basically a flip of a coin. Maybe even a random number generator. It's really nothing to be, well, desired at the end of the day. Some people just get big hands. Some people have eyeballs that kind of pop out of their head. It's really all different and all random at the end of the day based on genetics and and also randomness in general. But with that said, they begin speaking or the teacher begins talking about about who's going where and he says that Bakugo is trying for the entrance exam at UA and on top of that, it seems that Azuku is as well. Of course, Bakugo immediately tells Azuku that he should just give up. There's no way he'll get into he'll no way he'll get into UA with just a healing quirk. There's just no chance in hell. In which Azuku doesn't take this that lightly, but he basically tells Bakugo that he'll he'll take on that challenge and he'll make sure to advance. There are definitely some people in his class that believe that he can truly do that, but others are very skeptical as well. He doesn't have a powerful quirk, so could he really make it to UA with a quirk that's made to support? Well, I mean, as a regular hero and not a support hero, of course, they're skeptical. He'll definitely be able to make it as a support hero. I mean, it makes sense, right? And on top of that, he's extremely smart and always does a ton of note taking. But can he make it as a true hero? After the day is said and done, Azuku continues out and begins to leave. Of course, Bakugo does his normal shtick, where he presses Azuku, telling him that he's the only one that will make it from this horrible middle school, and that he shouldn't even give it another thought. UA is impossible for someone like him. UA is impossible for Azuku. Azuku ignores him and begins to leave as he writes and continues to write in his journal about new things he's come up with. And he continues the long way to his home. But when he goes under a bridge, Something terrifying would occur. Something truly terrifying. And that is the sludge villain. A manhole cover would open up and the sludge villain would come pouring out and a terrifying creature would speak to Azuku, saying that he needs the kid's body. He needs to take him and get away from wherever, where, whatever is going on. All Might is coming for him, and he won't let All Might get him. Azuku gets attacked, as and he tries to get away. But unfortunately, he can't get away. He gets his foot grabbed and dragged toward the sludge villain as he gets engulfed, and Azuku continues to struggle more and more and more. But as he does this, his quirk begins to seep out, and his aura begins to flare. It seems that this greenish and yellowish aura begins to surround Azuku as it surrounds him and the sludge villain as well. Azuku panics and continues to, to basically swell in terms of this aura as he feels his life fading slowly but surely. But just as he's about to do something and just as it feels that his mind is going to go away and his aura is going to take over. One large voice could be heard with one phrase. I am here. A gust of wind would come blasting through, smashing into the sludge villain, sending Azuku and the sludge villain into a wall. Azuku would slam his head as he passes out. He would be out for a little bit, but eventually would awaken, and All Might would question if the boy is okay. Azuku looks to see he has a couple scratches, and that's about it, and he'd clench his fist as the scratches and all of the wounds that he has, bruises and so on, would disappear and go away. Azuku says that he's fine, and asks what happened to that villain, and All Might says with another strong voice that the villain has been subdued as he points at the sludge that is everywhere. Azuku, after the mild shock that he just went through, he looks up to see that it's All Might. 
this is ridiculous. He's he's now freaking out. He's now fanboying over All Might, of course, asking for an autograph to see that he already has his autograph, which is not really an autograph. It's just All Might, but that's beyond the point. Izuku asks him a ton of questions, but during this time, All Might asks if he could help him clean up the Sludge Villain, in which he does just that. Izuku would pick up pick up the sludge villain and put him into bottles and would give them to All Might. All Might would then begin to answer some of his questions, but he would be on such, such limited time. Azuku would, would listen to All Might as he tells him that being a hero is so much more than just one's quirk, but if he does have a quirk like the one he has, something that's not built for fighting like All Might himself, he could truly still be a hero, even if that doesn't mean some main hero as he calls it and if that means him being a support or some some off role type of hero he's still a hero and he's going to have more impact than he can possibly imagine if he utilizes his core to its fullest and doesn't worry about what people are to expect from him all might says his goodbyes and says that his his quirk is very unique the fact that he could heal and heal himself and maybe even others is something that would come in massive handy in the future and that he should consider reaching for the stars, including UA. All Might would jump off as Azuku watches watches on as All Might sails away. Azuku is excited to hear something like that from his hero, but he gets this odd feeling. This odd feeling as All Might basically jumps away or flies away. He can sense that All Might isn't healthy, or maybe hurts? Injured? He's not sure. He's gotten this before from hospitals itself, people that have had cancer and people that have been, had massive injuries. It's as if they have this aura to them that signals as if they need help, that they need some sort of remedy. All Might has something very similar, but it's just clouded by the strength that he upholds. So it's lackluster in a way. He's confused. Maybe, maybe All Might is hurt truly hurt. Azuku doesn't know, and he can't question it now because he's already gone. So he decides to head home, and he tells his mother what happened, of course, and his mother would freak out a little bit, but would, would realize Azuku is okay, and it seems like it, it all worked out for the best. The sludge villain is in captivity, but Azuku may or may not even see All Might again for a long time. At least, until he goes to UA, or hopefully goes to UA. Azuku would continue training, and begin going to his martial arts classes, learning how to defend himself and try and expand his knowledge as much as possible in terms of fighting. And Izuku would also work on his quirk to the best of his ability, but there's limitations on that. He can't really heal everything. I mean, I mean, he's not going to hurt himself or hurt other people so that he can stretch out his quirk more and more. It just doesn't make sense logically, and there's nothing really he can do about that in general. With that said though, he would continue working and, and learning and trying to expand his quirk to the best of his abilities, and during this time, he would actually run across somebody, run across this old, mm, kind of looking man. He looks like a skeleton, but he has yellow hair. He would begin speaking with the man, asking if he's okay. The man would say that he's just fine, he's a little hurt and not the best in general, but he still lives every day the best he possibly can. In which Izuku is impressed by he hearing this. This man with that looks kind of homeless with a white baggy t-shirt, some ragged pants, and with yellow hair, seems to be pretty optimistic at his state. Izuku would continue looking at the man and would think, Who is this really? The aura he's getting is so similar to something he's seen before. So similar. But... What can it be? What is it? He's not sure. He can't get it in his head. He's not 100% sure to the idea who this guy is, but he tells him that he'll help him out here. As he puts his hand on the guy's shoulder, an aura begins to surround the, the man that's in front of him, seemingly slightly and slightly taking away some of his pain. Azuku says that he implemented some sort of healing. He isn't sure what's wrong with him, and that would be extremely difficult to basically look into. He would need to know exactly what's wrong and exactly how to heal him. But 
he, he hope, hopes that he can take away some of the pain that he might be in and some of the things he's been dealing with. And when the man coughs, normally what he would cough up is blood. And when he coughs up, he doesn't cough up blood at all. He's confused. How? How is this even happening? The man coughs again and it's no blood. It might be temporary and it might be only minor amounts of healing, but it seems like Izuku has definitely helped this man out quite a bit. Izuku waves him off and says that he apologizes he can't stay longer and speak with him. He's enjoyed the time speaking with him, but he has some training to do. He's, he's looking to be the number one hero and training never stops for the future number one hero. Izuku would run off and begin running around Degaba Beach. He would begin sprinting around the beach until he's ready to go to his martial arts class. He would go, go to his martial arts class, learn new techniques, and learn how to defend himself to the best of his abilities. What he doesn't know is that this man, this man that he met that seems to be homeless and old and hurt, is actually All Might. He didn't even realize this, and the reason why the aura seemed so similar was because he's seen the aura before. That same aura that, that needed healing and that needed help was All Might. All Might needed help. All Might is shocked though. Throughout this time, he would go home and even look at the same wound that he got so long ago. It's still there. And don't get me wrong, it's not cured by any means and not healed by any means. But to a certain extent, it looks different. It looks as if it was slightly healed and helped just a little bit. And he feels stronger at that. All Might feels that he can go longer in terms of being or doing his hero work, which is a massive plus. He then thinks to himself that someone like that kid, like Izuku, may benefit from one for all greater than anybody. If he can heal himself, the progression that he would go through with one for all would be insane. He needs to talk to the boy. He needs to talk to him. But he doesn't even know where he is. Yeah, he worked out at Dagobah Beach one time. Doesn't mean he's going to be there every single time. He, he heard something about martial arts, but that's about it. He doesn't know where this guy is. He doesn't know where Azuku Midori is. On the other side of Japan, Azuku is training, working, and all he can think about is the fact that he wants to get into UA. Push-ups, sit-ups, and plenty of juice. That's all he can do. And that's he's going to work hard and make sure that he's ready for this UA entrance exam. But in terms of raw power, there's really no getting him ready for the entrance exam. There's no way. He doesn't know this he doesn't know this yet, but he's going to have to destroy robots. And he's gonna be nowhere near as powerful enough to destroy those said robots. With only three months left, he feels that he's prepared, but is he really prepared enough? Frankly, no, he's not. It's going to be difficult, especially because the way the UA entrance exam even works. But he's going to continue studying, continue getting ready, and continue progressing. And hopefully he'll be able to reach what he needs to reach. But with one month before the entrance exam, someone would approach Azuku. Someone would approach him and begin speaking with him. That old man, that same man that looked like homeless and so on, begins to ask him a bunch of questions as if he didn't know anything about Izuku. Asking him how he thinks he's going to fend off the villains, physically, mentally, and so on. What is he going to do when villains have strength? Izuku isn't sure. He doesn't know how to respond to this. And he tells the man that he knows that he lacks in strength. He knows this. But he's going to find a way. He's going to find a way to progress what he needs to progress and find a way to truly get further, further than he possibly could imagine. The man smiles slightly and says that he believes that to be so. And just as he does this, he, he bulks up into his big form. It's All Might. All Might says, I am here and introduces himself, saying that he's been hanging around a bit. And he's been interested in Izuku. And he believes that Izuku could be the person that could be the next, well, successor to One For All. He explains everything. Everything you can possibly imagine. One For All and how it works and what it is and so on. And he tells Izuku that 
he's the perfect person for it. Someone that's going to push himself to the limits. Someone that was going to go into the feet of battle without strength, without power. He was going to go in with his quirk, a healing quirk, support everyone else, and come out on top. That's what Azuka's goal was, and his goal was to be the number one hero. And All Might says he's going to give him that chance. He needs and he wants him to become that number one hero. So, he wants him to take on one for all. He's already strengthened his body to the point that he'll definitely be able to utilize it, at least after some training. But Izuku hears this, and he shakes his head. He says no. Not yet. He doesn't want one for all just yet. He knows. He knows that the entry exam is going to be a hurdle. A massive one at that. Something that he'll have to jump through and hope for the best. But he needs to prove it to himself that he can do this without help. That he can do this. He can get past the entrance exam and get in on his own merit. And then he'll accept one for all. He needs to prove it. And if he doesn't, then All Might should choose someone else to be the successor to one for all. Should choose someone else. And All Might smiles. With a large, large grin on his face, All Might says that he knew he would say that. The determination on the boy's face is unwavering. But then he knows that Izuku can do it. He explains to Izuku exactly what the entrance exam is. It's going to be tough for someone like him. But if he figures everything out and he knows and he figures any way to defeat all the way through the entrance exam, well, he will forever strive to overcome a challenge that's in front of him. UA entrance exam. That is next. Azuku looks forward to it. And he tells All Might that he's going to make everyone and everybody proud. All Might says that he'll be watching and that he'll, he can't wait to see what Azuku can do. Azuku Midoriya. It's time for the one with the healing quirk to take on the UA entrance exam. A month would pass on and the rejection of one for all, or at least deciding not to take it on just quite yet, may be a massive challenge and hurdle for Izuku, but he'll see when he arrives at the UA entrance exam. He walks up to the staircase and begins to climb. Nervousness begins to overwhelm him and within his stomach as if he's going to stand in front of everybody and give a speech. Azuku would walk forward and eventually walk through the doors, and his stomach would drop when he has to sit next to the one and only Katsuki Bakugo. Bakugo would annoy him the entire time. Frankly, Bakugo would tell him that he should never have came and that he's useless. With a healing quirk only, there's no way he can make it into UA. Azuku doesn't say a word and continues with his head forward. He focuses, and after taking the written exam, he listens to what present Mike has to say. He says, everybody listen up. Little listeners need to listen because these are the things that are going to happen in the entrance exam. He begins explaining the one point, the two point, and the three point robots, including many other things as well. Eventually, a blue haired boy would stand up and speak about how he skipped the zero pointer. But present Mike says he never did. He just didn't have enough time to explain. He says to avoid the zero pointers, to not worry about them that they are giant robots, nothing to be really controlled, and nothing to be used as points, and he believes that they should just avoid them and stay safe. Azuku listens on and is ready to walk forward to that gate. He stands in front of the gate as present Mike begins to speak to them, but when the gates swing open, Azuku steps forward and begins running. He looks for the weakest robot he possibly can find, and he tries to punch through it, destroy it, but he can't. He's too weak. He tries to grab a lamppost, trying to break it in half as he swings at the robot, and the robot blocks it, but is slightly damaged. Azuku doesn't know what to do. What is he supposed to do? He can't break it. Maybe he should have took on one for all early. Maybe he really needs assistance that badly. As he thinks this to himself, as he begins to believe that he needs assistance, that's it. Assistance. There's more to the entrance exam. All Might gave him a clue. Without even... Maybe... Maybe All Might helped him after all. He begins to run around, and the, the other people there, 
Well, they're fighting robots, but he finds those who are struggling with destroying robots, or at least to an extent struggling. He would help them out, and he would reach out his hand, healing them. But what he realized during this training is he not only can heal people, but temporarily he can boost their own power. As he does this, a blue beam of light begins to stretch out from his arm as it surrounds somebody and they instantly destroy a one-pointer. or He's completely shocked. This no-name person that really isn't that strong was able to blast through a, a, a one-point robot easily. Of course, Azuku can't help him the entire time, so the chances of him getting in are probably slim, but Azuku continues to dash around using his aura and the strength he currently has to basically heal and support everybody around. Support, heal, damage boost, everybody he possibly can see. It seems as if he's able to support and help everybody around. He smiles thinking that this has to be part of it. He has to get a good score because of being, well, because of helping out. Maybe that's part of the whole regimen. This is hero work at the end of the day. Heroes aren't just destroying things. Heroes aren't just defeating villains. There's helping people, helping other heroes. There's helping citizens. Well, this has to be it. This is his way. This is how he's going to pass the UA entrance exam. He continues to think this as he darts around, helping, healing, and, and power boosting anybody he could possibly see. But this does drain his stamina, making him extremely tired at the end of the day. And eventually, the zero point robot would arrive. A giant robot, hulking robot, would begin walking forward. But at, at the end of the day, it seems that everyone is safe. Everyone is out of harm's way. Yes, even Ochako Uraraka, because Azuku has helped everyone, healed everyone, restored people's staminas, and Ochako would never be put in the situation that she was in. So the zero point robot comes up empty in terms of a threat level and eventually the intercom would come on to say that that the UA entrance exam is over it's wrapped up and done but the real question is was this enough was Azuku actually on the right path in terms of the idea that helping people in the entrance exam would allow him to pass will this prove to him or would prove will this prove to himself that he deserves one for all and deserves the assistance of the one and only number one hero all might well you'll have to find out in the next part of what if deku had a healing quirk and if you enjoyed make sure to leave a like make sure to leave a sub make sure to leave a comment down below all that good stuff and as always i hope all y'all have an amazing day and that's all i gotta say later